Educational robotics is, is a field of robotics which is extremely interesting because it allows to use some feature of robots to bring uh, content and teach some elements to students at, at various ages. Robotics gives us an alternative way to, to learn concepts and uh, uh, this way we get a, a better understanding of them and a more global understanding and the sooner we do and the better we will be able to carry it through our uh, education. It is important to start robotics education from the early age because these kids will live in a society totally driven by algorithms. So it's not exactly robotics that is important, it's the computational thinking, the algorithmic reasoning behind robotics. And robotics is a playful way to bring that into school. We also are going to show them how to do transversal skills, for example, communication, sociabilization. How can we do this activity all together? They don't know that they are learning. In fact, they are like playing, but they are learning at the same time. Today we're trying to program the exoskeleton which he's wearing to follow the movement I am doing with my arm. In the Cybertron at School project, we use robotics to teach the kids how to program, how to use uh, biology to control a robot, uh, we, learn, we teach them about ethics, how to apply robots in, in society, but we also make the uh, students aware of the challenges that people with disabilities have in daily life. The thing I'm taking home is the problems other people have, we don't all have the same problems, so we need to experience it from the other side of the person. In the last 12 years we have moved from having robots as a kind of gadget for extracurricular activities to a tool that is now in, in, in most schools and is in the compulsory curriculum. There are two technologies that we develop as part of NCCR Robotics in terms of educational robots. One is the Timio robot and the other is the cellular robot. With Timio, the, the children, the students can, can program a robot and see what is inside the robot and, and this helps them develop their computational thinking skills. For instance, with Timio, where we have a robot which is open hardware, open software and all the results are publicly available, this is something which directly shows the impact of open science on society and uh, benefits to everybody through their kids and through education. Cellular is meant to be sort of uh, the pencil of the future classroom. And uh, with that, uh, once you use it for a math activity, then you use it for chemistry. And, uh, and this is really a tool in the hands of teachers in the future classrooms. One of the challenges of education robotics is to prove the educational effectiveness. What makes learners learn is what they do in the classroom, the cognitive activity, the CPU, the brain activity. It's not the robot. So the robot is one way to activate rich activities, and this is a bit missing. What is missing is creativity to, to bring rich learning activities to them.